just tuned in to NNUTS Podcast. Yeah, that's right, NNUTS. Nothing new under the sun. So make sure you tune in, because this is where it's at. You don't want to miss it. You hear me? Let's go. Attention, everyone. Please join in and enjoy my brother at NNUTS. That's right. Nothing new under the sun. Thank you. All right. Okay. Yeah, same. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and kick it into it. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Brian. And I'm here with, I'm here on your podcast, Nothing New Under the Sun. That's right. That's N-N-U-T-S, Nothing New Under the Sun. And I got my dog, my homeboy that go back like four flats on a Cadillac that's been flat since 1984. Josh, what's going on, man? What's up? What's up? What's up, man? Good to be here. Good to good to talk to my bro, man. man what's man, up? I know, you? man. It seemed like forever. Like I was just happy. Like I, I continue this conversation forever because, like, we go back. Uh, matter of fact, let's tell people where we met at. Like I met Josh. Uh, we he <laughs> we was in Red Cross. Uh, we had went to volunteer for Katrina in Mississippi. Now that was one of the funnest trips that I had that helped that I felt like I made a difference in. And uh, I met Josh, one of my lifelong friends now. And uh, we kicked it off like, man, like we was brothers from another mother as soon as we got there. So what, 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 uh, that's when that Jeezy was out, that Soul Survivor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That, that, what was that? That was um, 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 Thug Motivation. What was that? Thug Motivation. One on one, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Doug Motivation 101. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah, man. Soul Survivors. Yeah, we were, yeah, we had a good time. Uh like you, man. I mean that 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 uh, I had just graduated from college that summer. And uh I remember coming home and it was like I ain't want to be home, but I graduated from college, you know. I mean, I, I ain't had nothing but lit in my pocket. And, uh, man, I just wanted to, you know, I, I wanted to make money, but at the same time, I ain't want to jump right into responsibilities either. And I definitely ain't want to come back to my, my hometown, you know. But, uh, but you know, me, uh, like a lot of, I guess, a lot of us have to do, yeah, came back home, lived with moms for, and then next thing you know, I'm looking for a job, and Katrina hit, and, and, and I found out that Red Cross was, you know, sending people down there, and, Giving them a stipend, I ain't, you know, giving them a stipend, flying them to uh, Louisiana and Mississippi. I ain't never been on a plane before. And uh, I was like, sign me up, man. Whatever it, whatever it takes to get out, <laughs> get out of my little hometown. <laughs> Couldn't find no job. Nobody was trying to hire your boy. You know, I, I was just like, man, sign me up, man. I, I, man, went to Red Cross and they had me on a flight probably what? Couple of days later, man, it was lovely. Hooked up man, y'all didn't have to go through all that training. Like we had like three days of training that we had to do. Eight man, hours I don't each day. Remember, I really don't remember. I, I definitely don't remember doing no training in before we uh before we left. I I, I definitely don't remember that. Um, if yeah, that's how I got my little herb certificate. Say what? That's how I got my herb certificate, so I could drive the herb oh, okay, emergency okay, response okay. vehicle. So, yeah, you knew what you was doing before. Before you even got down there, see, I didn't know what I was doing. I just like I was like I, I was I had just lost my job actually at the time. Was, <laughs> Tell people what so the I, herb is though. Tell people uh, what that is. The emergency, yeah, the emergency response vehicle. This is what the Red Cross. Every I don't know if every Red Cross have them, but you it's always those those emblems looking like trucks that the Red Cross sends down. And they, they, like I said, the emergency response vehicles. Uh, and I, like Josh, I had just lost my job, but I seen Katrina and I seen my people under the bridge. And I'm like, yo, it's not like it's around the world. It's, some, it's, it's something happening right here. And I was like, yo, I got to go. I got to go. What, what they said, I had to commit three weeks. So I was like, okay, I can do that, but I got to go help these people. And hopefully, you know, right. I was thinking that I was going to go to uh, New Orleans, but we went to Mississippi. Uh, right. 
Yeah, Biloxi and Gulfport with nothing but love, right? So like uh that <laughs> and I was like I, I sent you a little memo on what on what we were talking about, Josh, because like one of those things was being safe because they was always talking about their their uh and this it's the thing about white people, they they, they feel and I, I'm I'm sorry to point it out just to white people, but uh as as black men, right? We have always been responsible for our own safety, and we know that there's there's really no safety when it comes to us. We just got to be aware of how situations can yeah. go down. It's bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so, like going down there, and like we end up being in another. We end up being in a hurricane. Hurricane Rita was coming as soon as. And like when we when when we came down there. No, we was outside camping, and I ain't no outside dude, right? But we were outside camping. But you go I I said we was. I said when we first came down there, we was outside camping. Like our beds, our cots was outside, right? right in the right, tent, right? right? Yeah. And, and we got hit. And while we while while we was responding to the hurricane, we got hit with Hurricane Rita. At the same time, and like I had never been to a hurricane. Yeah. Have you guys been from North Carolina? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> you going, you going in and out, big. Yeah, yeah, it's going in and out too, but that's all good. It's uh, it's technical difficulties, but yeah. So like, okay. uh, so like we we was outside in a tent, and then another hurricane was coming, and uh. They was talking about our safety, and they was kind of, kind of locking us down or whatnot. Like, yo, we can't do this and we can't do that yeah. uh, because they wanted to, you know, Cyrus went safety. off. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Cyrus went off, and like I, I was wondering, had you ever been through a hurricane before? Because you from North Carolina, and I know y'all can get them every once in a while. No, no, no. So we, no, no, and 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 so I'm remind you, I'm in, I'm in the mountains in North Carolina, right? Mm -hmm. So. Uh, growing up, we've we've all, always heard Tennessee uh, or areas in Tennessee and uh, I guess northern Georgia. I'm not sure can, can get tornadoes, but we was always told that you know that the mountains would uh, you know kind of like protect us from the tornadoes. By the time the tornado hit the mountain, it'll wear itself out. So I mean I, I don't know how true that is or whatever, but no, we've never had a tornado or uh, anything like that uh, in my area. There's a little, there's a county na uh, that's next door called Bavar, and every once in a while, I don't know if they're on a plate or what, but they uh, they experience uh, earthquakes and uh, nothing. I mean I've never heard of any major damage coming from that, but if you look it up, yeah, they yeah it registers on the Richter scale like at least once a year but uh but now going down there and being in uh katrina of course that now that was the first time ever experienced a tornado and a hurricane that was that was yeah, crazy yeah yeah so uh and then the other part about them guaranteeing our safety was uh when when we was driving to herb I, my, my other homeboy jose sam uh, whatever it's Sam to the Americans, but it's Jose to <laughs> to to the uh, to, to everybody else to the to the crew, oh, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We were we was both driving the, we was both driving the herbs. So my crew was J Josh was on my crew, and then we had the guy Bill Bill uh, Women's was it? Bill. Yeah, and so what we would do on the herb is we would serve uh, we would serve people food or whatnot. And so we was on we was on Biloxi. High food. We was, hot food, yeah. Yeah. We was we was we was in Biloxi, right? And remember they're saying like uh remember they and I had to ask my crew because I was like, I'm safe. Don't worry, don't worry about me, I'm safe. They was like, we don't know if we want yeah. you to go in the Biloxi because they saying that they gone they was jumping on the herbs and stuff like that. Remember that joint? <laughs> Man, I remember that, but I you know, all that stuff kind of go over your head. I, I think you paid Pay more attention to that than me, um, cause I can I, I got a way of, of like, you know, especially we was dealing with like old old white people or whatever. Basically, <laughs> I heard what they were saying, but the rest <laughs> and and 
And but basically, they was telling us basically get back before dark. I mean, you know, or, or uh, yeah. you know, these are the areas that you shouldn't go in. I'm like, this is, these are the areas where the, where people need us. I'm like, hey, we can go see them. <laughs> exactly. But, you know, I, right. I, 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 yeah, I, I just learned to laugh at them, man. They just, you know, they. Yeah, you know and like I told them, you know the drill. Yeah, like I told them, I, I talked to my crew. My crew was like, "Yo, we we okay with being there, and we, you know, if it get dark." And then I was like, "But because I I was never scared." And then most of the time, there was a lot of yeah. people back there, and it was. I remember they they was queuing one time. Was like, "Yo, y'all can come back and eat and whatever." <laughs> it was it wasn't nothing but love in Biloxi. Uh, so <laughs> that's what I was like, yeah. "Man, I'm a I'm gonna be here." They showed us love. Yeah, they was happy that we were out there. Yeah, they they showed us plenty. Of yeah, yeah. So that was that was a good time. And like, so with all this stuff going on, Josh, man, do you ever think it'll be a time where you feel like you're safe? Man, um, is is I I like what you said earlier. I mean, uh, I don't even think you know, you know, it's about that. You know, uh, because. Yeah, ever since, you know, just growing up, um, what does say, you know, what does that mean? You know, be safe. I mean, what can we control? I mean, you know what I'm saying? You can put your seat belt, you know, you put your seat belt in, on the on car, you know, you you know, you got airbags, you know, hell, you can even do the speed limit, but who gonna say, you know, who's gonna say that some fool ain't gonna, you know, rear end you? You know, I got rear ended last summer, you know, it's, it's somebody side swipe you. What does be safe mean?